I unsubbed myself today. Do apps still have appeal? I disregard paywalls. Online, I know I'll steal. What has tech become? My sweetest apps. Every intern we hired gets burned in the end. And you could own it all. This profile of shit. My VC will drop I'll hope you'll pay This is The Feed! Brought to you by Insert Sponsor Here We're here to clean your clock Wake up! <laughs> If I had a quarter for every Chicago millennial I've met that works at Groupon, I wouldn't have to end my Netflix subscription after one month and then create a new email. Groupon is laying off 130 customer service employees. The company said these cut jobs were remote employees and would not specify whether or not they were in Chicago. This comes after Groupon laid off 100 employees in April. I would say come work at Technori, but that's only if you like working for free. Groupon wants to centralize roles. How do you even hire 1,800 people in the first place? That's what I want to know. Anyway, Groupon stock has been rising, so if I was a millennial searching for livelihood, I'd still reach out to them for payoli. You may want to ask your children to leave the room for this segment. Good talk, son. Go to bed. Herpes. <gasps> yeah, I said it. Roughly one in six Americans have it, according to the CDC, and we have a major stigma around the STD, so let's talk about it here. Peter Thiel, the co-founder of PayPal and one of the loudest voices in startup land, he enjoys being a contrarian. I'm not a politician, but neither is Donald Trump. He is a builder, and it's time to rebuild America. He casted a rare Silicon Valley vote for Trump. Want a reward for being so different, Peter? And now he's testing herpes medication outside of FDA regulations. Researchers are calling this unethical since it avoids decades-old safety guidelines. But startups disrupt. Thiel is funding adults with herpes to fly to an island to test them with vaccinations before shipping them back home. Thiel and his allies argue that the FDA moves too slow and domestic testing is too high costly. There's an Illinois angle here too. Thiel is teaming up with Rational Vaccines and Southern Illinois University. Rational Vaccines, get a hold of this, they said that the human experiments cannot be too dangerous since the participants already have herpes. That is savage. So the people behind this are both enthusiastic about the possibilities and also relieving themselves of any responsibility. Sounds like startup culture to me. But those involved in the study want to continue with it, and research is showing that these vaccinations can be effective. That's it for this week's PSA. Today's Technori shoutout goes to Ingredient. This is where I attempt to catch the attention of a $5 billion company. They'll watch this video, right? Who cares? Ingredient is a lab that makes potato starches. Potato starches control the meltability and stretchability of cheeses. Ingredient recently teamed up with a Swedish ma manufacturer to send its potato starch throughout Europe, Asia, and the Asian Pacific. All based here in Illinois. Who knew there was so much money in potato starch? Also, on a quick note, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, he is a sicko who gets off on the pain of others. See you later, techies.